India is one of the most unique countries I've ever visited. From the diversity, to the food, to the landscape, to its fast-paced nature, there is truly no other country quite like India. I recently got the opportunity to spend two weeks exploring India, and my first stop was the capital, Delhi. With a population of over 32 million, Delhi is one of the busiest cities I've ever visited. On today's video, I share my first impressions of the Indian capital, as well as explore the streets of Delhi, visit the famous Chandni Chowk, and take my first ride in a rickshaw. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Delhi, India. I'm so excited to be visiting India for the next two weeks, exploring Delhi, Jogpur, Jaisalmer, Pushkar, Agra, uh, Jaipur and Mumbai as well. It's going to be such a fun trip. My second time here in India and it's so exciting. It's so noisy. There's tuk-tuks around, everyone's beeping, cheering, but I'm so incredibly excited. So on today's video I'm going to be sharing my first impressions of Delhi. Let's go and explore. So we are currently at the Civil Lines metro station and we're going to Chandru Chok, which is one of the main areas here in Delhi. So we've never used the metro here in Delhi before, so this should be quite exciting, but I'll share how much everything costs, how easy it is to navigate, etc. But yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so we've now arrived at Chandni Chok, which is basically a hub of markets, shops, you can buy street food, clothing, and it only costs 20 rupees to get the metro for two stops, which is equivalent to like 20 pence, which is an absolute bargain. So I'd say probably one of the cheapest ways to explore, uh, yeah, to explore the city. Now we're just gonna have a little walk around. We have no kind of itinerary or like end destination. We're just gonna walk around and check it all out. So I think this main market is separated into women's clothing and men's clothing. Um, we're just currently walking through the men's clothing and I can see the sort of the exit to this part of the market but apparently Chani Chok is so so huge so I think there's a lot to explore uh, and to walk around so yeah first impressions very very cool. Still can't quite believe I'm back here in India and uh, yeah it's going to be a crazy fun incredible two weeks here. So we are currently on the search for somewhere to help me with my sim card. I got it from the airport last night it cost only four pounds which is great however the instructions that the man gave me to basically activate the sim card don't work. So we've been told to try and find a sim card shop but we've been given various instructions 500 meters down the road 200 meters down the road and we can't find a shop anywhere so that is that is the thing that is on our list to do before we can go and explore properly and so far it's a bit of a struggle okay so we kind of have a solution to the sim issue we've just gone into a phone shop and they told us to hop back to the metro that we just got off at go a further two stops and we can find an airtel store which is the basically the brand of the sim so fingers crossed we can figure it out but we're gonna get a rickshaw to the metro station now okay so we're now on the rickshaw this cost 100 rupees which is approximately a pound mum how are you finding it um what the rickshaw just generally everything generally <laughs> it's very full on but i'm i'm I love it. I, you know, so much life. It's 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 just fantastic. It's super hot. It's super humid. So we think a sari would be a really lovely thing to wear. <laughs> Camera's probably drawing a bit of attention. Thank you very much. Oh, there we go. Right, we're at the metro stop now. Top on for two more stops. Get a SIM card and then come back here to explore. Okay, so SIM card acquired. I paid just 300 rupees, which is three pounds, for 50 gigabytes of data, which is just ridiculously cheap. So now I'm all set. 
it was a bit of a palaver to get it sorted but we're all good to go and now we're going to get the metro back to where we were before do a little bit more exploring and then head back to our hotel because we've got a very very early start tomorrow we're heading to Jodhpur and it's an 11 hour train so we're gonna get an early night as we're waking up at like half past four tomorrow morning I also forgot to add whilst we were in the sim card shop it started to literally torrentially pour so now the floors are all soaking wet it's still spitting very lightly but just a reminder that we are here during monsoon season so of course it's very likely that we're going to have a fair bit of rain whilst we're here for uh, yeah for the next two weeks back at the Chadney Chowk area to go and explore the Red Fort which is one of the main tourist attractions here in all of Delhi so we're going to try and skirt past all the tuk-tuks all the rickshaws all the uh, the busyness of uh, of where we are here in Delhi and uh, yeah go check out the Red Fort this is a profit jam in India this is complete chaos We've got tuk-tuks, rickshaws, people on motorbikes, people walking around. Oh my god. So I've just taken my first selfie <laughs> whilst here in India um, when I visited in 2018. I probably took over 100 selfies of people, which is very cool. Um, but uh, yeah, this is such a sweet group of um, group of kids just came up and asked for a photo. So they got my mum to take it and then we took a selfie as well, which is very sweet. So uh, yeah, we're still on our way to the Red Fort. I can literally see it right in front of me. So yeah, we're gonna go check it out. It is so hot. I think after the shower, that was probably about half an hour ago now, it's just increased the humidity so much. I think today it's been upwards of about 35 degrees, but of course with the humidity it feels probably upwards of 40, 41, 42 degrees. So yeah, we're definitely just still getting used to the heat. Although I have just spent a month in the UAE, so I feel like I'm kind of, kind of adjusted already to the heat, but uh, yeah, it's a hot one today. We are attempting to cross one of the busiest streets, I think, in the whole of Delhi. Oh my goodness me. Ah, thank you. Ah, my goodness. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah, okay. We made it. We're alive. We're alive. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now at the Red Fort, as you can see behind me, but unfortunately it shuts at 4.30. So it's somewhere that me and my family are going to visit when we come back to Delhi in a week's time. But yeah, from this view, it looks really cool, but I'm sure once we're inside, it looks even more beautiful. So yeah, that is on the itinerary for when we come back to Delhi. But now we're gonna hop back on the Metro and head back to our hotel. The hotel's got a swimming pool. It's very, very warm, so it's much needed. And we're also gonna try and get a Sprite as well. Cause I think we are, uh, yeah, I think we're a bit tired after a long day. <laughs> Okay, so we've just got the metro back to Civil Lines, which is the closest metro stop to our hotel. The time is currently quarter to six, so we've been out exploring for, for the most part of the afternoon. Um, yeah, we're absolutely exhausted, but it's been such a fun first day here in India, well, and in Delhi as well. My first impressions of Delhi, I'm so, so glad I've been able to visit. I was so gutted last time that it wasn't part sort of fully of my itinerary when I was here in 2018. <laughs> It's a thriving city, it's so busy. Organized chaos is probably the best way to describe it, but I'm so, so glad that I've been able to visit and to fully explore it this time. But I'm gonna end today's video there. Tomorrow, like I mentioned earlier, we're taking a, an 11 hour train ride to Jodhpur. We're in a first class train, so I'll be very curious and interested to show you all what a first class train experience is here, like is like here in India. So smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so it is now six minutes past seven and the train has just set off. 
the start of our 11 hour journey. I can't believe I'm even saying that. 11 hours from Delhi to Jodhpur. I've already eaten. It's like half an hour in, if that. I've already eaten a whole bag of ready salted crisps. 